مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students of grade 9, I welcome you to a new session of the English language. Today, inshallah, we are going to talk about module 9, facts and figures. Listen, the writing, page 103. Our objectives today are identify the main idea of the essay through writing some notes, analyze the essay to its main ideas by using the mind map, write a summary of an essay accurately. And let's start our lesson by watching the following video and paying attention to what is the main idea of the video. So, once again, what is the main idea of the video? The video is about charity and helping people who are in need. Let's move to exercise A. Read the statement below and an essay written in response. What is the writer's opinion on the issue? What argument does he or she use to justify his or her opinion? The statement is, you should always give a percentage of the money you earn to charity. Before we answer, now let's read the passage together. 3. Right. You should always give a percentage of the money you earn to charity. Most of us spend the money we earn in more or less the same way. We pay our bills, put petrol in our cars, and buy groceries. But what should we do with the sum that is left over? I personally think that if you earn a reasonable income, you should make an effort to support a charity. Doing so will benefit not only the cause you choose to support, but also you personally. Firstly, the donations that charities receive are an important source of income for them. Without these donations, they would struggle to achieve their goals and provide the services they set out to provide. Funds in the form of donations are, therefore, essential to the survival, growth, and contribution of a charity. Furthermore, people who support charities experience a greater sense of purpose and satisfaction. That's because actively contributing towards a cause fulfills your sense of duty and makes you feel good about yourself. It is a constructive way to give back to your community when you cannot volunteer your time or services. I believe that simple acts of charity are what make the world a better place to live in. Regularly donating a percentage of your income can make a big difference both to your life 
and to the life of those around you, because it makes giving a way of life, which is what being part of a social environment is all about. Now, let's answer the following question. What purpose do the highlighted sentences serve? The answer is, they introduce the central idea of the paragraph, or in other words, they tell the reader what the paragraph is about. Two, how do these sentences differ from the sentences that follow? And the answer is, they are usually found at the beginning of the paragraph. The sentence following these sentences expand on or develop the idea that had been introduced. So we can say that these sentences are called topic sentences. And pay attention that the sentences that introduce the central ideas of a paragraph is called a topic sentence. This is usually the first sentence in the paragraph. The other sentences develop the idea expressed in the topic sentence by expanding on it, giving examples or explaining it. Now, read the essay again and match the paragraphs 1 to 4 with the descriptions A to D. In which paragraph did the writer present the first reason, supported with some examples and explains it? In which paragraph the writer sums up and restates his opinion? In which paragraph the writer introduces the topic and states his opinion? personal opinion, in which paragraph the writer presents the second reason supported with some examples and explains it. So here we have the opinion of the writer and we have the introduction of the topic and the second reason and the first reason. We are going to arrange them from one to four. The first paragraph is the writer introduces the topic and states his personal opinion. This is the introduction. And paragraph number two is letter A. The writer presents the first reason supported with some examples and explains it. And of course, the third paragraph is where the writer presents the second reason supported with some examples and explains it. And he concludes his writing by summing up and restating his opinion once again. Now, moving on to workbook page 99, to write a summary of the essay using the plan and the tip below to guide you. We have a summary paragraph and essay. First, say what the writer of the essay is writing about and sum up the main idea of the first paragraph. Next, summarize the main idea of each paragraph of the essay and its supporting details. Finally, summarize the main idea of the last paragraph and explain how the writer ends the essay. And let me give you a model on how uh, writing should look like. Let's read it together. This essay is about the positive results of giving regularly to charity. The writer begins by suggesting that people who earn quite a good sum of money should offer part of it to charity. The writer then discusses how important donations are to charities. He explains that donations allow charities to work well and do what they wish to do for people in need. The writer also mentions the rewards of contributing to the community by giving to charity. He explains that helping other people makes people feel useful and better about themselves. The writer concludes by saying that everyone can benefit from regular donations to charity. And by this, dear students, we have come to the end of our session for today. Until we meet again, I say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mujamma'u al وقيم إسلامية